everyone, you are listening to the Religions, Religious Experience, and Spirituality Podcast. This is a podcast that talks about religion, well not really religiously, but it makes you understand more about different religions across the globe, and what do people think this religion holds in the future. Joyce Valenzuela and I'm a second year BS Medical Technology student in Angeles University Foundation. Well, basically we will talk about religion. I have topics that I will discuss and these topics are first, of course, we will define what religion is. Second, what does the future hold for it? Third, the possible paths that religion may take in order to retain its significance in our fast-changing society. And lastly, how can dialogue play a major role fostering respect among different religions? Let's start! How will you define religion? Religion can be defined as our own set of beliefs which regard as holy, sacred, and spiritual that relate us to an order of existence. Many religions have their sacred histories that intend to explain the origin of life and such experiences which they want to imitate to become a good person for themselves and for others. What does the future hold for religion? Well, we may differ in our beliefs and religion has been challenged by society, modernization, and secularization, but over time, as long as there are believers, religion will always rise, right? Sometimes we are not aware that these challenges are also the reason why we still have religions up until now. What are the possible paths that religion may take in order to retain its significance in our fast-changing society? There are three possible paths regarding the future of the world's religion. This are exclusivism wherein it only considers itself as true. Next is inclusivism wherein all major religions can be incorporated into one universal religion. The last path is the one I think is the most feasible among the three and able for the religion to retain its significance in our fast-changing society. And this is what we call pluralism. Here, it promotes the open-mindedness of people and respects that we have certain differences in our beliefs. We have our freedom and safety to worship what we believe, but still, we engage with one another despite diversity. This idea makes us achieve harmony and unity amongst people. May we put into our minds that no religion is better than the other. And this thinking is what our world needs. We are down to our last topic and this is, how can dialogue play a major role fostering respect among different religions? What's good in our time today is that people are getting more respectful of diversity. Through this mindset, we can establish unity and understanding among religions. Interfaith dialogue is one example that fosters respect among different religions. It strives to explain the uniqueness of each religion for us to have deeper understanding and to better appreciate different faiths. That sums up our podcast. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have learned and enjoyed this short podcast of mine. Once again, I am Kathleen Joy Sivanzela. Stay safe and God bless.